and welcome back to the Reapers. So we are all trying to learn the Tomcat at the moment. We're all learning at different rates. The young guys have gone off and fucking done the manual three times and learnt it. I'm struggling, as you've probably realised, doing my best, and Auntie and some other guys are struggling as well. Wow, it's loud in here. So, F10. We're going to go and do a training mission. I've got about 20 of us on here. We're all loading in now. Uh, we've got some ground targets to go and attack over there. We've got hostile targets out there to attack. Nothing actually threatening. It's just want to keep it simple. Air to air refueler to go and do there. Uh, a carry there. I think I'm having Tebro in my back seat. Is that right, Tebro? Oh, yeah. Right. So we're going to jump in our planes and uh, parking can brake out. Cap, yes. Send. Can you start by um, turning, rearming us with GPUs, say, 16s? On the belly and uh, lantern pod, if we are doing air. But Supercap doesn't know how to do Okay, fine. Where does the lantern pod go? I haven't looked into that yet. 8B. Where's the password? Uh? It's a general. general. Oh, why didn't you guys shout at him? He doesn't ask he every here. time. And it's Ralph. Because I just because I just fucking got here. No one messes with the Ralph. Oh, I just thought oh, it was God, God's sake, don't say it out loud. I see it. Says so we got four GBUs. Is that right, uh, uh, Tebro? Yeah, GBU sixteen is four times on the belly. Yeah, that's all we can. And then take. the lantern on eight Bravo. Okay, we'll take some side ones. It's just in case we run into some gooks. Yeah, whatever the uh, the rest you can choose. Meet to the runway, everyone. Get to the runway. Gonna kill. Um, Which way? It's way um, underground because I haven't brought shit yet. Um, it's whatever you choose. There's everything out there, so you can do whatever you want. 24. Everyone, 24. Are we going to use SRS so that we don't have the pilots and Rios talking all over each other? Um, what I'm going to do is go in a separate channel with Tebro, but I'm going to wait until we have a bit of fun first, and then we'll go serious and go to our own channels. As up to you. SRS has its built-in intercom, you know. How does that work? Yeah, yeah I haven't been uh, if, you have work, the FC, if you have the FC3 fix, it doesn't work. Oh, well, I, get rid of one. No, I can't get rid, get rid of, of the FC3 break, break and I, just I couldn't, get your Rio to use the raid. I couldn't do DCS without the fix. Sorry. Just I'm get the Rio to manage the radio. Oh, uh, 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 hey. Change our laser code. Oh, wait. Right. How do we do that? The knee board. The I can do it, but. I wouldn't see how to do it, so. Um, okay, I see it. Uh, could we go one five eight? I'll do it now. Right shift, right oh one. Okay, ours is now one five eight eight. Okay. Now I have to check how I actually change it in the lantern, but that's a Wait, what? one five eight eight. Let's go. That's caps for laser code. Wait, Ralph, are you still on here? Oh, and cap. Remember those flaps that you talked about? Why are they down at the moment? That's worrying. Oh wait. They're down. Okay, I'm just out of stick. Oh no, they, they are 18s. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We do. Yeah, come, but we don't have a lantern. Yeah, I'll put a lantern on. I don't see don't them. I don't see them properly. So you were supposed to use flaps on a on a runway. No, uh, I don't stop that. Well, no one really yeah, seems to know, Gray. Yeah, you just use the flaps. The manual Always says you use flaps on a takeoff. The manual says you can, but you don't have to. Is what it says, whether it's right or not. Wow, look it's at this. It's required cat. for carriers, but I mean, you ever feel that it just makes it easier to just take off? All right, full flaps, everyone, so that we've got the same profile and we don't go bang bang. Obi, uh, stay left. Obi, stay left. Obi, stay left. Obi, stay left. So there doesn't seem to be any AVACs or anything, so we don't have any data link. Oh. Use your own data link. Just communicate with each other. You don't need AVAC. I haven't even started looking at data. Link. I still don't know what data link really does. So. The Rio does all the data link stuff, so you don't really need to worry about it. Warren, what are you doing? Capital guy at the back. I'm being in bush plane. Yeah, okay, uh, whoever's in, in Cap's flight, we are on one, a 3120 and an auxiliary data link. F18, make, Tebro, do, do you feel this? F18, just move up, come on. Press your thrust lever forward slightly. Or oh, I'm gonna push you. Warren, you got your wheel chocks, haven't you? Last chance! Cap, we're kind of close to this one here. I'm going to hit this guy because he's not moving. I'm stuck behind... Uh, yeah, Warren, Warren. Oh, oh, I don't... I have chocks on! Stop! You do on mine. Why? You do have chocks on, Warren. Can I arm the gun on the ground? No, wrong. No. Go on out there, 15, get past me. Cow skin, get past me. Sweet. 
Super cop! Super cop! Super, super, super cow skin! Who's That's this? me. Who's this the cow skin? I've forgotten. Can you reboot Armageddon Gumbo? Because I literally can't home edit. What's that? I don't have a lens stick back here. It's weird, isn't it? I've definitely put one. Okay, well, you've got time, guys, so do it now. Um, We've got. We'll all take off with Afterburner, is that right, guys? To prevent any possible. No, not in the B. No, full Afterburner in the B. Well, I know, that's great, but what someone's going to do is put Afterburner and smash into everyone, aren't they? You know it's going to happen. Yeah, you can make sure it's all retards here. Yeah, you, Cap, you also realise that you and I are going to run all of these walls. No, we're not going because I'm filming. We'll go later. Apparently, the reason you don't use afterburner on takeoff is because the engines ignite afterburners at different times and it can skew you off the road. Okay, well, I gave you a warning. Uh, so Good, all those oh, okay. miles away. Did you ever think we'd get to this point where we're going to Tom Cats on the runway? It's better than 21, it doesn't seem to be as much lag. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, is it? I'm looking at everyone, it's better than Hornets as well. We're getting for 50 frames a second, it's not bad. It's alright, considering you are surrounded. Okay, guys, once you're airborne, can you like split off in different directions, like aggressively, and put your burners on and just so it looks all sexy? We haven't done anything sexy, yeah? Tommy's gonna go straight up. Okay, guys, so let's check the control in. Okay, Tomcats, we're gonna try and do it realistically. I know that's silly with all of us here, but mill power. Uh, burners, you're allowed to hit, uh, well, whenever you think it's safe, and I'll see you in the skies. Okay, Greg's arms pulling her up and releasing three, two, one. Graham, real green. Tomcats! Oh, for fuck's sake, they all whacked into each other. That will last a win, Graham. Use your burner, for fuck's sake. Good job, good job, guys. Atomic survive, yay! <laughs> uh, guys, let's take off before the uh, uh, couple of guys made it. Hey, Sap. Go to the right. Thanks for the extra load, Ian. Hey, look at that douchebag with no wings. Who's the douchebag? That's <laughs> so funny. Okay, Tebro. Me and Tebro go down into a separate channel. If you need us, just come and get us, obviously. Um, just so got uh, Where is Tebro? Right. right, so... Good news. Yes. I was looking at the lantern. I just put my video recording on, and when those guys exploded in front of us, so we have a nice lantern footage mm -hmm. of the plane. Are you happy for me to take off? Yeah, go ahead. I managed to change our laser good on the lantern as well. So lovely. We are set for that part. Are you looking at it through the TID? Is that how you're viewing it? So I changed my TID to show the TV, and then the TV is set to not show the normal TV camera, but the lantern is dead. So if you set your middle display to the other mode, you will see the lantern as well, and you have to use that for guidance later. Okay. Watch out for debris here. Yeah, good. Burner on. Pups going up. Let's do this shit. Can I please uh, have a heading to the ground targets? Yeah, sure. Actually, I have already filled in the... If you look at your HSD, you have a waypoint set, so it's straight ahead now. I haven't done waypoints yet, so stand by. I'm gonna... Right, uh, what do I have to type into the... What I... Do I... Is it destination mode I want, or how do I see that yeah, waypoint? Yeah, you should, you should have everything set already. Is it like a little V on the outside? Whoops, sorry. Yeah, the arrow is pointing at it as well. And how do I know it's waypoint one? Is it telling me anywhere? No, it doesn't. I'm telling you. Okay. That it's not waypoint one, it's waypoint surface target. Is it 50 miles away? Yeah. Well done. Let's get our burners on. If you can put us at the round angel stand, I think that's pretty... Anderson. It'll be pretty good for our shit. A for him. Wings are on auto. Oh, it's nice and quiet up here today. That's nice. So if you set the middle screen, switch its mode down to uh, the or is it up to TV? Ah. You can see the lantern 
How interesting. Right, so this is uh, VDI up to TV. All right, and now looking at the lantern. Right. Okay, so how are you controlling... You don't have OSB, so how are you controlling that thing? I don't have what? You don't have OSBs, like buttons around a multifunction display, so what are you pressing to actually control it? I have a... I have a modifier and then my stick bound to this. Oh god, I oh, can't wait to do that tomorrow. Okay, fine. Yeah, and then, if I do this... Okay, I'm gonna desig... Hold on. I'm watching you... It's a bit low resolution, is that a translation error? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's actually... The maximum zoom level wow. is horrible. But if I do this... 1970s, yeah. Uh, hold on, I need to... All right, okay. now, point. Send to someone trying to help raise me. That's Ralph. Hello, Ralph. What can I do for you? I had a question of you. Um, and t -Bro, actually. Um, can you explain to me how the uh, chaff works later, or have you already done it? I've done a full video on that. Are you from the pilot or the um, um, co -pilot? For the Rio. Yeah, I've got a full video on that from the Rio. It's, there's a lot to it, but it's there. Okay, I was, I was just curious. I hadn't seen it yet. All right, thanks, All right. guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Um... Alright, so if you look at the screen now, I've designated a point, so to speak. How do we know it's designated? Because it's locked on the ground. Uh, no, it's because you have the time to release on the right side and then the other heading bar up top. Okay. Um, don't drop on this thing, this is just a random point I chose. So, what the idea here is to I walk you through. On the right side, you have the time to release thing going down, yeah. as you can see. Yeah. And uh, you don't hold the pickle button. You press it once when it's at zero. Otherwise, it will drop early yep. because it's not integrated with the plane. Yep. And on the top, you'll see that it says L009. That means you should be turning left, or now it's zero, 010, zero, left 10 degrees to uh, align perfectly. I see. So, do I, does the pilot not get a little diamond then on his HUD showing where this no. thing's pointing? Nope, this isn't integrated, integrated at all with the system. How interesting. So you have to basically... What's the wiggly lighter color line that doesn't seem to match anything? Uh, that is the uh, border. If, you, if I put the camera over, let's put it this way. If I go with the camera far to the right, I will start seeing the plane body. Oh yeah, so that's where the board plane body is. That's actually... Yeah. So I wish I had that on the other T-board, to be honest. Yeah, it's actually that little square in the top that is showing about yeah, well, in, uh, like relation to that. Maybe. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a look at some other symbology we've got there. So we've got a GBU-16 at the bottom. You've got an M1158, so that's the code. You've got air to ground. You've got QHUD. What's QHUD mean? Uh, so that's me switching to... Oh, hold on. Yeah, shit. All right. Uh, that's... Now it's QSNO. This is like uh, down below the, and straight ahead, and QHUD is basically yep. important. Well done. Okay, uh, what's all that shit at the bottom left? An elevation? Is that where the target thing is pointing? Where the pipper's pointing? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, the slant range. It's the slant range, Roger. Okay, um, you've got MGC, I don't know what that is. And that's stuff at the top left, north and easting. Is that where the, uh, is that where we are or where the crosshair is? Uh, that should be us, actually. We're at 12,000 feet, we are. What does KGS mean? Uh, I think it's not ground speed. Oh, oh, yep, not ground speed and a dive angle of zero. Okay, so yep. do we are we going to fly the plane via that screen then? No, we're not, are we? Because um, I would do the flying, wouldn't I? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So if I do this, hold on, let's see. I need to find a spot that you can reach something like this here. What's the flashing L at the bottom? That's the laser is firing. Oh, hey, firing. cap. Send. Are you lazy? Yes. Roger. Uh, where are you? What's your target? We're going for some blue ground vehicles. Oh, they're Roger right below us, Tebro. Tebro, I can see them yep. visually. That's weird. Can you see them? Oh yeah, we've been focusing on the stuff. So what I'll do is I'll. All right, get, what's your? I'll get ten mics out and then I'll turn around and we'll try and find them. And no shadow. We won't tell you our laser code because we actually. Yeah, we want to hit. Because stuff. what? Because we want to hit stuff. Ah, go and try and go and bug someone else. There's loads of shit out there. Uh, F-18s out there. I mean, you know what I mean. Other people. Uh, just that. Right. So, how so, would yeah. we initiate? One more thing yes, uh, in the symbology. So when I 
pointed at something, let's say this place here, then the right bottom right place gets information about the designated position. That's the designated position, all the east thing. Right, that's cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, how do you? One thing that was fascinating to me about the T-board is how do you get its original position? Is it ball sighted to? Is it uh, fixed to ball cage to ball sight to begin with, and then you just start moving it? Yeah, that's so, how I do it. So you want me to point roughly at the target first, then, don't you? So that, okay, that makes sense. Yes, uh, I can pretty fast find the thing so that we can designate and uh, drop on the same pass. Yeah. As long as we are coming in about straight ahead, it's, it's like not uh, we should we don't need to really search for targets, so it's not really good at searching. Who's for doing targets. the dropping, me or you? You pull the trigger. Okay, I have turned to air to ground mode. I'm putting my master arm on. I'm putting my wings in manu uh, sorry bomb mode, so that's all good. Now I'm going to turn into the target, and I still don't know what I'm going to see through the HUD. I don't think I'm really going to see anything by the sounds of things. Um, no, what? nothing through the HUD. We are in manual bomb mode, so the HUD manual is... Manual bomb mode? Yeah, because Jesus. I don't want you to focus on the wrong symbology, so I set it to manual, so it shows you nothing. And then the, you just look at the lantern, and then when the lantern tells mm. you, is you that, pull the bomb. Is that general practice, or is it just for just for oh, this example we're doing manual? Seems a bit weird, that's uh, right. It's my general practice. I saw it in some video or read it somewhere. It was a recommendation. Okay, right. Um, they are 20 degrees off of right. And we're turning in now. Yep, yeah, I certainly am in manual. I get that. Okay, they're off our nose. I'd say make that about 10, 8 to 10 miles. Uh, there is a heading 145. In fact, you can see an explosion out there, or that's just disappeared. Yeah, I see some stuff here. We just passed someone. Hey, boys. Someone's lighting up flares. If you if you look at the uh, lantern screen now, you should. Isn't that Roger. isn't this target? These yep, white yep. things? Yeah, get us one. Yeah, so then I designate that one. There yes. we go. Are you and raising it? Now, no, not yet. So it's 28 seconds and you need to go left, left 7 degrees. degrees. How does, does it tell me when to drop the bomb? Yeah, on the right side. Time to release 19 seconds. When do I drop it? At the very bottom or at those two lines? At the two lines it will be zero and that's when you press the button once. Watch up. I'm going to do my best. Three seconds. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You can actually drop a little early if you want, because Dropping these now. fly pretty far. Woo! Yeah, and laser more is on. Let's go, little bomby bomby! Yeah, laser is on, and I'm in point track, just yeah, to keep going. it straight. Woo! Keep it awesome. straight, because this thing is very sensitive. Are you filming what you're doing, by the way, Deborah? Because I need to look at it for tomorrow. Yeah, I have a filming on. Can you just keep making on our copy as well, make sure it doesn't crash? Uh, yeah, okay. Just flick back every now and then. Yeah, I'll look, I'll look up every now and then. Abram Shack, love it. Let's go around and do it again, sir. Is it already slewed to that target? Can we just slew it to the new one, new target? You're yeah, killing from the ground target. They're all f baddies, kill the baddies. Yeah, they're all bad. They're all baddies. Uh, uh, they're all the friendly baddies. Yeah, I can slew it back to that last designation. And I can just adjust from there and designate to something new. Because it saved it, it in. Be it's because it saved it in its RNS memory or subcard. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go around, and we're not going to have as much of a run up here to simulate a real strike. Even though it's probably not that realistic, but we'll give it a go. Yep. Turning in. So Andrews, it is uh, thirteen. Perfect. I can see how this will be difficult on single player now. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put some G's in. Okay. Target in front. Leveling out. So we're not going to get much time warning this time, because it's only a short thing. So this should be interesting however this works. Right. Alright, there it is, 13 seconds. Right, 3 degrees. How far can you be out in degrees and it still works, do you think? Ah, uh, I haven't tested. Drop. You should pick, yep, lasers on. Keep it straight and level here, so that... Uh, because this thing is really sensitive and might lose its point track. Oh, the, um, the laser. Yeah. yeah the the current tracking is contrast based because I didn't get the designation exactly on. Okay. It's tracking. 
Yeah, it should be impact in about 10 seconds. Maybe a hey, did you almost hit a hornet? <laughs> that was funny. And uh, track Abrams. Moving up. And the uh, explosion on the lantern screen is also very beautiful. Love that very much. Right, we're going to go a few miles and then we're heading back. Hey, from. Altitude is 14. It's all good. Might let's do a swift turn in. Five degree descent. Uh, is there a recommended altitude for this, do you think? Below clouds is nice because, well, especially in DCS, since clouds are client side. So, yeah. well, if you don't see a cloud, I still might. And the cl clouds are very messy with the lantern. Is it not IR? Is it optical? Yeah, it's sort of optical, yeah. And, well, yeah, sure, the laser might go through a little bit, but it's Im almost impossible to get a good uh, contrast based lock. Lined up. Copy, let's look down then. Oh, right. It's too late, it's Drop. too late. Oh, I tried it. Yep. That was a close one. Let's just try it, that's what happens. Might overshoot. Oh, I think it's overshot. It has overshot. It's the worst thing you do for a GPU is overshoot it. Yeah. Well, I'll try again. I'll take us a bit further this time. Yeah. Um, where did you learn all this stuff about the uh, lantern? It's not in the manual, is it? Uh, most of it is. Oh, okay. I must have uh, missed that whole section somehow. But I also watched through the three-hour video by that, um, the Rio school video by uh, Carrier Wing uh, 11, I think. Okay. They made a three-hour video and uh, I watched through it just oh, before the plane the released and then I've been in it ever since. Right. Okay. We'll drop this last bomb, then I'm going to go in for a couple of gun runs, and then we'll go and rearm with some phoenixes and shit. Hey, from? Right, let's go in again. Angels 12, that's fine. Yeah, but that overshoot pretty much was only two seconds late, which is why I prefer to drop them a little early. They'll fly just fine. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Someone just stacked, someone just uh, died over there. Silly boys. Right, we are up on target now, leveling out. What I'm going to do is just... No, I'm not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to try putting it in autopilot and see if that works. That might be useful. Alright, target is designated. Right, two. Right, one. Zero. All the pilot on. All I've got to do is sit here and press the friggin' button. Still drifting left. So I can correct with the autopilot on. Yeah, the autopilot is actually pilot relief system, so it's not a proper autopilot. Okay. All right, go ahead and pick Watching. off. I'm going to be a little bit closer and pew pew lasers. So. Out she goes. Yeah, she's a trucking. She's a trucking. Yeah, it's flying almost sideways. Big cut out there. Yeah, that was, that was the CPU to run down. Oh no, it was a, it was a ripple. Really awful ripple. Right, we're going to go in for guns, 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 see if I can remember what I've learned today. So, we're going to press, we're on air to ground, we're going to press guns. Already in wing sweep mode, going to unpress the autopilot. Changing the, uh, changing the TV back to normal TV so that you can watch your targeting paper in Thank the you. TV as well. In the TV, oh! And we've had a crash. Phew. Right, 
Have I got an extra panel in here or something, I was told? Is, is that a thing? Yes, on your left. There should be a stick. Oh, yeah. And that stick, a little bit under it, there's a rotary with three positions. Yep. Turn that two positions to the right, so right click it twice. Um, it's under the stick. Do you mean, oh, literally under the stick. Did it say off? Pretty much. No. Yeah, it's a grey wheel thing. No, that's Takan, so... Oh, right, uh, it is the, you know, that's beacon mode. Um, AFC, yeah. Oh, I see, it's kind of hidden, right? Yeah, just got to find an angle where I can see it. It was a two to the right. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, fucking internet! Yeah. Give me fucking strength, you fucking thing! Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Yep. Oh, this is driving me nuts. The internet keeps cutting out. Right, um, uh, two to the right, was that? Yeah, so it should be the most right position on that road, right? Uh, should say PCA or something if you can head, head down there. PCO, yep. Roger! Right. Eight minutes for the warm, so now we can start moving. Can you try leaving the chat room and coming back in again? It's probably me that's fucked up, but yeah, it is me. Oh, I really don't want to know what to do. Do you want me to back in or what? It doesn't matter. It's my, my Discord is on red, basically. Because, uh, Internet's fucked. Can you hear me? Send, yep, yeah, I've got you back now. Oh, thank God, fucking Discord is being shitty. It is rather. So, right, so am I going to display this thing through the TID? Uh, yes, switch your left bottom TID uh, road area to TV. Come by. And then you should see your normal TV first. Kind of, it's a green thing, but I guess that's it. Yeah. It's looking at the sky, so it doesn't really see much. Roger. And then on the back by the stick, the lantern stick. Yep. There's a button that should have a green light saying TCS. Yep. Press that, it will switch to saying FLUR. Roger. But since it's not ready yet, so next to the power rotary that you flipped earlier, mm -hmm. there's a button that will light up as standby when it's warmed up and then it will take when you press that it will take 30 seconds for it to go to ready is that mode uh no yeah yes actually it might be the, uh, yeah. the tooltip might save it mode pressed it and we'll see what happens i suppose yes does it say standby well, i pressed it and it doesn't or say it anything black. yeah it's black so it's not ready yet okay you have to wait for it to light up with standby. Okay. So if you flip the floor back to TCS, I'll show you the gun paper as a part of... So is it slew to that as soon as you get gun your gun paper out? Yeah. Hold on. It's loading my air to ground mode. And then I need my gun and my master arm and you what's the mode back there for the ordnance delivery on um, your left panel by. weapon type or mode is pilot uh, computer pilot alright thank you that should be good why is this 
not giving me the paper then. I won't. Oh, you have Rolls. to be. You have to be within range. You have to uh, fool me earlier on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to be quite oh. close. Oh, I can see stuff. I saw something. For a minute. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start recording. Yeah, if you on your left knee panel about on side console, there's a little two-way switch that says field of view, and with that you can zoom in the uh, TC. Remember, I'm just looking at sky or water. It's there's no. Yeah, it's yeah, it's looking at probably water. Uh, let's head in over land and see what it shows. Okay, we have something. Yeah, that's the forest. Yep. Very cool. Oh yeah, there's my paper, so yeah. Uh, now I'm aiming at that town and I can look at the TV seeing exactly where I'm aiming. Okay. Very good. Right, should we All right. St uh, my light is on now for the um, lantern, so stand by. Yeah, press that and it will start blinking. Ava? And then it will take 30 seconds and it will be operational. You can switch the TV back to FLUR from TCS. Okay. And then you can set up our bombs. Okay. So you want the pilot mode to be switched to manual to declutter my HUD. Yep. And then you want to select the four belly stations. Ava. And then you want the weapon wheel to say uh, GPU 16. Stand by. GBU 16, Roger. Alright, and now you can see the uh, lantern screen as well. What fuse do I want? Uh, nose tail and instant is fine. Nose tail instant, okay, that's all that done. Right, I can see, yes, I do see it, but it's just, oh, okay, we're out to see this one. Well. Yeah, I'm doing a, an honorary lap here to get let you get ready for the lineup, since okay. we were getting kind of close. All right, let's turn in. Well, you can already test your slewing stuff and then test the bore sight button as well. So I've got the hat, step and right. I've got the different types of track. I've got the slew. I've got the S4 hat. Okay, so let's try All slew. Right. So I, yes, yeah. I can slew it. We first yeah, thing if done. You slew it slew it down then you should see some smokes oh no i think you went too far it should be back up a bit and along the coast i did i did see smoke stuff. there's a smoke you see that yeah so now you can hit the field of view button to zoom in well where is it one of our hats or uh, it was the last thing we bound stand by agreed zoomed in yeah um so. they're buildings they're not tanks yeah that's very good valid uh it should be closer than those buildings, so you can zoom back out and look down a bit. Yes, there's ah, the, there there's the stuff. Okay. So, pro tip, use area track. Um, uh, it will make slewing a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to have to go and see which one that is now. It's one of your hats. Why does that keep doing that? Area track, I got uh, that's not there. Point track, area track is down on that one so down on that one it's now an area track apparently oh you have to go to air to ground mode first if you remember what you bound that switch to and by toggle yeah that worked and now you can go to area track that was the laser stuff hold on let me That's yeah well me. we never changed the laser code on the bomb so it's now you can go area track right gotta go and find that one again so area track was that area track on and that locked it to the terrain didn't it yeah it's uh 
imaging base. What up? So if you now select that tank there, and then you pull your... T actually, you have to do the laser arm. F it's behind the stick. Flip that on as well. The silver switch. Just yeah, arm. And now, Yeah, and now you do the trigger. Uh, which one? Both? Yeah, full trigger. There you go. Now you designated it. And... Drop. There. And then you have to hit the laser latch button. Fuck me, where's that? Uh, uh, pinky switch on the stick normally, I don't know. There you go, you got it. I'll, either you got it or it auto did it. No fucking idea, bro. Alright, we'll have to go through the sequence again. So, um, so Hold when on. I push the trigger, do I let that go afterwards or do I let the yeah, go? Yeah, you, you can let that go, it's just designate the spot. Okay. I think our bomb went something somewhere yeah, else. Because I did something wrong. Latch, I've got to go and find now. Stand by. Latch. Don't remember that. Laser latch, yeah. Found it. What does that do? It turns it toggles toggles the laser firing. So right. you press it once and so the laser what's, will start What's the difference firing. between designating and firing then? I can't work that out. No, the, le uh, the designation is basically this is the point I want to hit. And that will be stored as a three-dimensional point based mm -hmm. on INS and laser measuring. Right. The so so actual lighting is for basically telling the, helping the laser-guided bomb to find its target. So we pull the, treasure, pull the trigger to designate. Um, and then latch to fire the laser. Yeah, but and you can latch. You, you only latch about when I start dropping the bomb. Right, gotcha. And All right, it's, now la you have it's to latch modal. Stuff. It's latch modal. Modal? Do you press it on and it stays on, or do you have to keep? The yeah, one? yeah, it stays on. So now you designate one of those guys. That's weird, it did something weird. I press area track uh, and it went fucking crazy. Nah, no, that's point track. Oh, it is point track. Steady cap. Um, looking for a new one. I might not get there in time, I'm afraid, because they're all dead. Alright, we'll go for a dead guy. No, there's a guy. Right. That, I'm going to pull the trigger. Trigger pulled and pulling. Bomb yeah, release. I'm, I'm, no, I'm so far off. I'm 12 degrees off. Oh, right, yeah. So we'll make go around. Pass. But what you want to look up now? While we go around, hold on, let me just check here. Is your lantern S4 hat right? Stand by. Yep. What does that do? S slews to your last designation. If it happens to lose track of that point, now when we do the turn. Why would it lose track? You can just. Well, body comes in the way. Okay. Or, something, or you want to slew it somewhere else, but then you can hit S4 right and it will slew back to this position. How the hell do you remember all this shit? Okay, yeah, it's done that, but that's fine. I used to fly the A10C a lot. Mm. This is easy to remember in comparison. Oh, I just realized, uh, have you did change the laser code? No, uh, the bombs are on default, so we can't change it. What do If you want, if we can walk it. I can walk you through actually doing it later, but mm -hmm. let's not do it before we drop the bombs. Well done. All right, let's turn back. All right, now you want to press that slew to last designation thing. Probably press it now, and it has indeed done it. Wow, that's amazing. Right, yeah. I'm. Do you want me to pull the trigger? Uh, no, you don't need to. It's still designated. Roger. I need to go left two degrees. Right, you just tell me when to latch it then. Yeah, basically when I drop, you can latch it. All right, I'm gonna pickle. Pickle. Now you can latch. Done. Fingers crossed. Yay! It's working. Baby! Boom! We 
we done did do got it. Right, so what I'm going to do is now unslew. Ah, oh, that's weird, it just went nuts, okay. So I think it's S4 up, which is Boresight. Boresight puts it back to Boresight. Yeah, and S4 down is straight ahead and I think 20 degrees down. Where are I? Let me see where we are. But you also have zoomed in once now. Um, your laser is still on and you can try pressing the latch button to turn it off. It just won't go off. Any reason? Yeah, that's I actually had this same. I don't actually know how to turn it off. What I do is flip the laser arm on and off. And I actually that done. Roger, dumb. Sounds like a bug. Right, so yeah, I don't know if it's a bug or me just not knowing how to do it. Really? Oh, Turning back in so you can find the next target. We should still have two bombs, I think. Right, I'm gonna um, return to the last designation, see if that works. Yeah, that should work. Might that now the body is in the way, but. Mm. Now, if it's right. Right, now how do I slew it about from here without it going crazy? Uh, area track on. Area track on. So, what mode is it on standard if it's not area track? So uh, basically, if I t twist the plane, then it will uh, go with the plane. One, All right, Locked. good stuff. You managed to designate correctly, so that's nice. Now I just turn in a bit. Oh, shit, I turned a lot. Need to look what I'm doing. All right, I am getting ready to pickle. And pickle. Beautiful. Going crazy, Tebro. Crazy? Yeah, I think it's still gonna hit. If it's going crazy, it might actually be someone else's laser, but that looks like a good hit. Very nice. We've got any bombs left? Yeah, one, I think. Not sure. Right, okay. No, scratch that, we don't. Right, um, we've got nothing to use, so the next thing is let's go and jump in a new plane. I'll drive and we'll go and shoot some Phoenixes, shall we? Uh, sure, but before that, why don't you jettison our tanks? Um, in fact, why don't we uh, change the laser code? Oh yeah, let's do that as well. Okay, you can bore side it first. So, you want that slider now, then put it to laser, and the laser code will start blink. And by, I'm going to look at the slider. Right, I've got AM, MGC or focus for the slider, which one? Yeah, it's the laser focus. Okay. Pull that one. Yep. So now you use the, I think it's the S4 hat. You use the up, down, and you can sh and sideways, and you can change the number. Roger, how do I accept? Uh, L, do the laser slider again. Okay, done. Wow, that was easy. Um, right, so, uh, you want me to jettison some ship? Can do, buddy. Stand by. Get rid of my tanks. So I've got to go there. Select your jettison switch on. Gone. There they go. Good stuff. Uh, you want me to actually go back and land, or do you nah, just want to? Nah, to save time. I'm going to jump out and get a new plane. You join me when you're ready. How far can the TC TCS see? I can't believe it will see very far. Ah, not really. It just extends visual ID range a little bit, but not by much. We'll test it when we go up. Yeah. Crater in the runway? Yeah, I think we bounced on that last time. Mm -hmm. Right, I think they're west. Assuming. So, what are we fighting, the other guys? No, there's a bunch of like yaks, civilian yaks, to shoot down. Okay, I haven't seen any other. 
at least not on the map, but if you say west, west. If you'll take us to about Angels 15, 20, it will be good. Yeah. Would you like to control flares or chaff or neither? I'll just have the basic chaff, please. I for basic chaff. I see what your HUD sees, uh, what your TID sees in the front here, I don't think I can, can I? Yeah, yes you can, on the bottom screen if you switch the HSD mode to TID. Hey. Wait, or ECM, that's interesting. Oh no, I can't speak on ECM. Yeah, I don't actually know what that is. Okay, so I can see your scanner, how exciting. Now here's the thing, I can't actually, no, I don't know which direction we're going because I can't see it on the... Oh yes, I can change this, can't I? There we go, right, we are going 260. Okay, so what's your scan range there? Uh, currently I'm set at 50 miles, but I'm also set at full width and full bars, just in case. But in uh, range while well search, but I don't see anything up. Like why is it called range while search? What is it ranging? Uh, so, normal pulse Doppler search only gets the closure. Then range while search, it does also get range. It does some extra, it sends extra signals to get the range. Okay. If I remember right, don't quote me. No. All right, now we have some targets ahead. Whoa, we certainly do, don't we? All right, I'm gonna. What scan right, range so is that? Is, uh, this is 100 miles. I'm gonna right. tighten this up a little bit here. They're all called two. What does two mean? That means they're at approximately 20 thousand feet. So it's rounded. So it's between 15,000 and 24,999. Okay. Uh, if I do now this, let's see, I get here, and we select this one. Now I have one in single target track, so now we can see he's at 16,562 feet, 57 miles away. We can actually shoot at him at this point. Is that as SCT? Yeah, this is single target track, so let me check the TV here real quick. We can IFF or VID, but no, not at this range, so yeah. Going back to the so yeah, this is a single target track. Do you want me to to go to track while scan or just single target track shoot one? Um, what would we actually use if we were trying to shoot them down? Probably track while scan, I would have thought, so we could see yeah, what those other guys were doing. Yeah, we'd shoot everyone with track while scan. So stand by. So what's the point I of having the STT lock in the first place? Well, it's uh, the Phoenix doesn't go active if you have it in STT, so it's like a Fox One. Safer with friendlies in the mix. Oh, interesting. However, if you lose your single target track, it will go active, so not quite safe. Mm. Right, so we have a bunch of targets here. So if you now go to air to air mode, master arm on, uh, missile prep on, all done, and then select the phoenixes. Stand by. Four phoenixes selected. Yeah. So the problem is you just now pressed missile prep, so it will take a minute before we can actually fire. But you can now see on the right side of these icons here that it is uh, that they are prioritized. Four of them. Four of them are selected for firing phoenixes at in track while scan. One, two, three, and four. Roger. Yes. Do you remember if it's trigger or weapon release to fire? It's going to be trigger, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be triggered and you have to hold it in three seconds. I can also do fire from back here. Okay. If you want to focus on flying. Well, now I'm going to IFF these guys. So let's have a look here.
Hmm, they're actually coming back as hostile, so that's good. Target data. Hostile, so now you see I'm updating our TID symbology here. Are you going to say you've got a load more TAT set up for this? Because I've used my joystick fully for all that other shit we were doing. Uh, I have a modifier for the lantern and then I have a I have it without the modifier on on the no. Can I fire? Yeah. How do I know when I can fire? So the blinking means you can uh, fire. That's very within optimal range. The blinking. What? Where is it blinking? In on the TID. On the TID. The contacts are blinking. They're not blinking for me, so I'm going to have to assume that they're just blinking for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're blinking for me. Do I get anything through the HUD to look at? I don't see anything. No markers or anything? No, you don't. Shall I fire a weapon? Go ahead. Not firing, so... Keep holding it for three seconds. One, thousand, three, thousand, two, thousand... Oh, yeah. It did go, I think. There it went. It's got... Oh, it's a, it's a lofter, look. What kind of range is he at, do you think? Um, I don't know, that wasn't very far, maybe 15 miles. So it will be going active very soon. Problem currently is that the track wall scan isn't perfectly implemented. Okay, there he is, but we lost him, so to speak. So, But I'm pretty sure the missile would didn't. Yep, there's a splash. Okay. I can't see anything, but I'll take your word for it. Right, have yeah. we got other guys locked Splash up? The Mars. On our two o'clock was the splash. Um, so, yeah. Are we in sparrow range now? Should I be sparrowing this shit? Well, in theory, yes, we are in sparrow range, but you don't need to sparrow, you can Phoenix. We don't. Can we to turn the plane to find them? Yeah, go to our 11 or 10 o'clock. As you can see, I slew the radar to the left. So, would you like for me to shoot at one? Yes. Hold on then. Alright, here we go. I'm clicking the button, waiting for three seconds. And Fox 3. Following. Super Splash! Wow, that is a smoky rocket. Right. That was good fun. Quick, there's another guy on the nose. Get him! Copy, Foxing. And I'll fox the last one as well. Fox. Wow, oh, they already have to bend. And there they go. Two whistles out. Not two different targets. First one missed. No, I don't think so. Boom! And splash. No? Yeah, there's nice. the splash. Okay, let me go and try and finish one off with guns or something or. Sidewinder. Yeah, we have side, we have sub arrows and sidewinders still, and I can actually, since we're gonna use that, I can use the TV. Then you can just set the TV on so to do visual ID. Well done. What's the missile prep for? Do we have to prep for all of the missiles? Yes, uh, that's for uh, spar. Actually, hit SV cool if you want to shoot sidewinders. Uh, the missile prep is to tune your uh, sparrows and phoenixes to the radar. Mm -hmm.
decide whether I work in just basic bullseye mode or does it have all kinds of fancy modes? Whoa! Whoa! What's happened? It's alright, um, we're good, we're good, we're good. It did, it did a proper Tom Cruise on us. Yeah, definitely. Ah, it's found him way off bullseye, so it must have... If you look at the TV now, you can do some visual ID. Ah. So what I did, I hit the vertical scan low to find him and lock him up. Yes, you did, and uh, you slaved the side one to do it as well. How interesting. They Here's seem to be invulnerable. They certainly are. They certainly are, they bro. Good shit. Alright, dropping a lock. My Tomcat won't go forward. Come on, nose down. Nose down, you little beauty. I want to go and shoot him with guns. So guns, is, how does that work? Does that use the radar? Or I haven't got that far yet. You do a single target track, then yes, it will give you computation with the radar. Target 12 o'clock. I have one locked for you, but I'm guessing you're locking something. Yeah, you're going for something else. Hold on, let me lock that for you. There you should be locked now, right? So yeah, is that something only Rio does? Lock on no, the. No, you have you have the pilot modes as well, including these vertical scans. The Don't kill us, Cap. Oh God. Oh. I think I did something. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. You worry too much, Deborah. Now I'm going to show you what a cap does in a dogfight. You ready? Watch. Yeah, okay. Watch this. The only time that's impossible. It's just too big. Yeah, I've seen you do this trick before. Super Cap, they call him Super Cap. No one knows why, they just call him Super Cap. Target should be two o'clock high. Or actually, no, yeah, there, one o'clock. After him. So here you can use, if you have your pilot designation buttons bound, you can use those. Oh, actually I might do. Um, to designate up and down, or...? Yes, and then PLM yeah. and PAL and... Well, Sidewinder C, but you already fired the Sidewinder C. Got him, so. I've locked him up. Oh, cool. Wish he wouldn't go so slow, that's my only complaint at the moment, if I'm honest with you. Tom got no like slow. Yeah, no, this is a speedster. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Brr. We still have the sparrows if you want to shoot some missiles. I will do. Let me clear my gun out and then uh, we're going to do that. Good song. Good song. Good song. Good song. Man, I'm a bad shot. Ah, that's funny. <coughs> Alright, we're going to shoot our sparrows. Um, and then we'll end in style. So, sparrows selected. Gonna to need to find some baddie waddies. Oh, yeah, that's me, right? That is. That is you. Wow, we've still got some buckaloes of fuel as well. This is cool. Oh, yeah, you want me to get rid of the tanks? Um, I don't think we have any, but you can if you want. They're out. Right, so I'm going to use your TID and I'm going to see if I can find some guys with it. Yeah, I'm trying to do the same. I'll do a slow orbit. Uh, what angels are we? We are, we are at 17. Oh, that's just, we should be about perfect, do really. There's no... Scratchy. 
Oh, I got tally on one, so we'll pick him up on radar shortly. Is he high or above or below? Um, co. What, straight ahead? Yep. Why can I not see him then? Oh, there he is. Or there he was. Hey! I don't know if that was me or you, to be honest, but we've got him. Yeah, I can press the launch button for sparrows as well if you want. Yep, fire. Um, probably not going to hit from me. Fox I'll, one. I'll have to give him a bit more lead, but let's try it. Yeah, off it goes. To loop. Caps fired one as well, for good measure. Yep. Yeah, it's really freaky when you have a Rio and uh, suddenly mm, you yeah. see your missiles fly away. Cool. Well, right, we've done that. We're gonna burn out. We're gonna go and piss Shadow off now. We're gonna go and fucking find him and uh, something ram into him or something. Hi, from? And we're gonna lock him to piss him off. He is. He is. He is. There's Warren. Not there. Oh, he's gonna be in someone's. No, he's not there. All right, we're gonna do someone else. Shall we go and get... Hang on. Got to be Warren, isn't it? Right, let's go and shoot Warren down. He is currently bearing... Wow, a long way away. He is east at 70 miles. Let's see how quickly the Tomcat can devour this mileage. Going high. I'm setting steer point to home base, which okay. is approximately the same heading. Um... You know we only have gun left. Um, not even sure we have that, but we'll go we'll, we'll away. We'll yeah, we have about what well, is it? Uh, I think it's seventy rounds. So wow, well, that's got to be pretty damn good. No, Angel's thirty-five. Optimal cruise. Fuel is yeah, right about down. wrong way. Oh fuck! I'm so stupid. Uh, I haven't got my compass on, that's why. Cruise. Ah, oh, why, good lord? Bound zero six zero. At least we got high. Yeah, we're actually pretty clean, so we should go fast. Mm -hmm. And level out. Let's do it. A little bit more to the left, and then we'll be good. There's a Stannis here, that means we can use Ooh. data. We've got to land on it once we've killed um, his face. Yeah, sure. Oh, scratch it. You can do uh, automatic land. Or it's disconnected, we'll go and find someone else. Oh, no, we now have data link, so that's nice. Yeah. Oh, I can see stuff on our um, TID. Don't know what it is exactly. Something. So, because the symbol oh, the is on. On the bottom, yeah, so that that's the data link contacts. How interesting. And up ahead, we have two shields. What's that? The uh, left one is our home base waypoint. Mm -hmm. The right one with the strike through is mm -hmm. the home base data link waypoint. Mm -hmm. I must have caution up here, I don't know why. I choose oh, to ignore it. What does the uh, caution displace? Fuel low. Yeah, okay. 
Well, actually, yeah, there is only 6,000 pounds left. Plenty. So, do you want to try a data link landing? Like an automatic landing? Oh, good lord. No, let's leave that to another day. I think my brain's fried, to be honest. Alright. I posted a, some video of it earlier. Or a GIF. Well done. Are we, like, going towards the land or what? Yeah, it's the right way. Just a, you know, we're only going Mach 1.5 and I don't know why we we're still slow. 60 miles. Must be too high. A little bit down. Yeah, yeah, it might be. We're at 47 angels, Jesus. Come on, speed up, you big cat. I know you're faster than this. Let's practice intercepting Ral. He's at uh, 07046. Unknown aspect and altitude. Airfoil. We've got to inter intercept to protect our fleet. Heading down. Yeah, please do. We are so high up. Hold on. Hit Mac 2, it's about bloody time. I got a target. Nice. Is that him on our left? It's the bright one on your TID. Yeah. Is that where we're heading? Uh, no, we're heading straight up on the TID. The stuff that's pointing to the left is just yep. because I slewed the radar. Well yep, I'm coming. We are getting to him at Mac 2. 2.1 Copy, I have to do some tweaking to get the radar that low. I don't. Can't get the bird that bloody low. Lag, 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 yeah. lag, lag, lag. Oh, for five minutes. Is that you out as well? Did that. Yeah, I think the server died. Alright, uh, that's probably. Alright, never mind. Alright, so we went through some stuff. I'm going to have a look, more closer look at that lantern tomorrow, but. Otherwise all good. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night pepper.